Ja. I am in so much pain this morning. Not having it. But this little guy is happy and awake and look at those stretches. Do you know what you're in for today? Do you know what you're in for today? Special boy. Special boy. Yeah. So today Huxley is getting fixed. So yeah. And even though I'm in a lot of pain and have been in a pain flare for almost two weeks now, I'm determined that I'm gonna make today great. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna get dressed. I have errands that I need to run. I have things that I need to get because I'm planning some fun things. So I need to go to Michael's. Um, Starbucks is definitely in order today. Um, I don't really know what else I have planned, but I think for right now, I'm going to work on hair scrunchies because my bin at work is almost empty again. I'm going to connect to my TENS unit because I've been using that a lot more recently the past few weeks. And then hopefully I'll kind of feel better. But I need to start getting ready in like half an hour to take him to the vet. So we're just going to see where today takes us. But I've woken up today and I have the determination that no matter where symptoms take me today, no matter how hard a recovery is today, no matter how his surgery goes today, which I'm sure is going to be fine, even though he still is kind of healing from the dog attack a few weeks ago, it's going to be okay. And sometimes you just got to wake up with that attitude that today chronic illness is not going to win. My symptoms are going to be there no matter what, and I deserve to have a good day and not look at what my symptoms are doing. Okay, so it is 7.30 now. I just finished my TENS unit, and now I need to get dressed. What are you going to do until he gets here? So, for reference, while I did my TENS unit, I listened to calming music. The TV's going on in the background right now, but I did it for 15 minutes, because that's how long a session is on this one. I'm thinking of getting a more high-tech one here really soon where like it'll f you can do it so there's like an acupuncture setting a cupping section um whereas this one is basically just you can pulse it massage it or knead it today i did a mixture i started off with massage but i really couldn't feel it even on the highest setting which tells me how bad my pain actually is because the higher my pain the higher I need the setting and usually that's not very good so I had it on the highest setting I couldn't feel it on massage so then I tried it on need and I couldn't so then there's this hand and leg setting on this and it kind of like well shock you and it kind of gives me the vibe of like acupuncture needles going in you because i did used to like when i first got sick like nine years ago go for 
acupuncture. So it kind of gives me that vibe. And like I was able to feel it, but I was only able to feel it when I actually had the speed up. So on the highest setting, the speed at the highest setting, so it's constantly going like this, zapping you. But hopefully when I stand up, I'll realize it will make a difference. It made a difference because yesterday standing up was excruciating and my whole stomach feels swollen like up here into my chest so like up here into my chest down my back to where like my kidney lays <sighs> and those flare-ups are the worst vibe in the world but hiding those flare-ups sucks because I either want to like lean over or lay down and they just aren't fun but now I need to get dressed and get Huxley ready because he needs to be at the vet in like 45 minutes to go get snippied do you know what's happening to you today do you know what's happening to you today? They're getting snippy snipped. So I am dressed. It is raining out, so like, you know. But I have no idea what. But I like twisting my hair lately and sticking it in a bun that way, or like two buns. Someone is getting restless. Good morning, son. Good morning. So you're going to the vet today, Bubba's. You're going to the vet today. They're going to put you to sleepies. And when you wake up, you're probably going to have a cone around your neck. Mama needs to remember to bring that. Oh, do you just want to touch Mama's hand? Ready, set, <sighs> The reason I left him in the cage for so long this morning was because I was really scared of him getting into anything or like getting upstairs and getting like a hold of Marty's water or Marty's food or like him like he likes to go under my bed sometimes and get into things and I just didn't want him to get into anything before his surgery because because that would be a bad thing if you ate or drank anything they wouldn't be able to do it so I figured if he was in his cage and had toys he'd be safe but now I need to let him out and when you get ready to go We need to get ready to go. Yes. Are you going to be a big, strong boy today? So, I dropped Huxley off at the vet. And the vet just called me. And he's getting his last baby tooth pulled to... Poor baby boy. So, I drove 45 minutes and got Starbucks because, you know, caffeine is life. Um, shockingly, so I got a Starbucks card for my birthday and I haven't had to use it yet because I've been slowly using up Christmas ones from years ago because... When I got really sick, I stopped going out for coffee and whatever, and like just it became something that didn't really feel safe. But I have 340 left on one of my Christmas cards, which is so cool. Um, coffee is delicious. And hot so yeah he's getting another tooth pulled 
I'm going on adventures in where I am because I'm going to go to Michael's. Um... Probably the mall because I need to go to the health food store to get more chewable ginger because when my nausea is bad, I enjoy sucking on it. Um, but yeah, that's basically the plan because he's not going to be done. Like, I'm not even going to get a phone call until like 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And it's only 9 in the morning. Like, I had to drop him off early like just after eight so we I did that and now we're just gonna adventure see what kind of mischief I can get into not bad mischief good mis mischief and I'm probably gonna go to the pet store too because you know Huxley is going to deserve all the love and all the treats after today. Like, my mommy puppy heart is so sad. Hi. Hi, kind head. Hi. What's going on? Hmm? Hux, what's going Oh, were you able to grab a sock? Can mommy have her sock, please? So, Huxley is home. Um, he's very playful. Hi, hey, mommy wants it. Mama wants it. His surgery went good yesterday. However, they did have to pull his last baby tooth because um, it just wasn't going to come out on its own. But I got to keep it, and it is huge. Like, there was no way that baby boy was coming out of that boy's mouth. Oh, the mama's boy's mouth. But he seems to be doing okay. He's on soft food for the next few days, so feeding him has kind of been interesting. I think he's hungry. <laughs> so I gotta go feed my son and give him pain meds because he's on six days of pain meds again. Weren't we just going through that in the last vlog with him? <laughs> Look at the boy. Look who's tail's wagging. Are you happy? Are you a happy, happy boy? Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Look at you. what mama is giving you. I feel like this is more than you were on last week. Look at the happy tail. Look at the happy boy. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Look at the wagging tail. He's a happy, happy boy. I'm a happy dog. A happy, happy, happy dog. Let's just say chronic illness life. All seven of us dressed up here to support, you know, the whole mud run scenario, and we couldn't, you know, look more ridiculous than I did. So I'm working on camp day stuff before I rollerblade and I have to get ready for work because I'm working afternoons this week. But my dog, Little Huxley Buxley, is a toy hoarder. Look at his cage. 
like he has toys all back there which you can't see because it's dark then zoo animals here like you have a full-blown zoo in your cage Huxley hey you have a full-blown zoo in your cage are you a happy boy this morning Yesterday, Huxley also got spoiled. He can't eat this right now because his tooth got pulled. But someone put this in our mailbox for him. We think it was our neighbor whose dog attacked him a few weeks ago. And then he had to go through the whole getting fixed thing, like just after. So like he's been through a lot, but like yeah, I thought that was so cool. So like I can't wait to see my neighbor and thank her because like yeah. And I can't wait to see him eat it. This cookie is huge. But he definitely wants it. Like look at that face. Look at the puppy face. Huh? Then yesterday, I got my first set of Amazon packages which had ostomy stuff in it. And then I also got this little warmy. It looks like a fox. It even has a tail. Because on Monday I was at work. And I was in so much pain like so much pain Tylenol wouldn't touch it it was going up my chest into my kidney like my whole right side like it hurt to breathe like my pain was so bad and I was like you know if I had a heating Thing that I can stick in my bag and then microwave to have when I'm on break it might be beneficial people are probably gonna think I'm weird and I'm nuts but my mom's like chronic illness life like you can't worry about what like people think about you because I'm gonna do weird things and I'm gonna do what I need to do to cope so I can keep my life as normal as possible and right now I'm really kind of struggling with that but I'm trying to figure it out and I'm trying to do things that engage my brain things that I enjoy doing to kind of distract myself so like this morning while I'm waiting for meds to kick in I'm cutting out snowflakes because I would like to have this whole pack of paper gone Uh, I got a Charlie horse. Um, so there's that. I also think I'm gonna bring back like customer appreciation or um, employee appreciation where I kind of like once a week would pick somebody and I would randomly crochet them an animal or like do something for them to like make their day and boost their spirits cuz you know and I haven't done that in a few months so I think I'm gonna bring that back but then again the holidays are coming so I might wait till like January or February to do it again because that you know we're, we're just gonna see hey hey Excuse me, who said you could be so stinking cute? Who said that? I think that's illegal. You just performed an illegal act. Why, good morning. <laughs> let me out of this prison. Are you saying let me out of this prison? <laughs> You're adorable. Yes, you are. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I picked up and vlogged. Coffee. I don't even know what videos. How far I am on editing, what's on this camera. 
you know, life has just been all over the place.